Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lazelle. Today's video, I'm going to share with you my small jewelry pieces that I have collected over the years. So if you like this kind of videos, please subscribe and keep on watching. I am going to go over them one by one from the least expensive to the more expensive item. So I'm going to start here on my right. The first one here is from Tiffany, and this is the Elsa Peretti's Single Diamond Necklace. And this is in platinum in 0.17 carat. I wear this every day, even at work, because I love how dainty it looks. And there you have it. If you can see, it's just one single diamond there. And it's about 16 inches in length. The second one is a watch and this was a gift from my husband when we were just dating and this is from Tag Ewer. If you can see it has the mother of pearl in the dial. I haven't been using this watch anymore since I have other watches but I still keep it in my collection because it holds a lot of memories. I just need to get a new battery because I think the battery that it has is not working anymore. So this is the Taguer um, watch. I think this is the Aqua Razor in stainless steel. The next one is a ring and this is from Tiffany. This is the, um, this is a wedding band, uh, eternity wedding band with diamonds um, all over. So I'm gonna, Take it out from the box so you can see. So it has diamonds all over there. And I pair this with my engagement ring that I'm gonna show you later. So this is how it looks like. I really like it because it's very simple, but it's very elegant too. So that's from Tiffany. And then we go to the newest jewelry in my collection, and I got it from Chanel. If you guys know Chanel very well, then you will know that this is the Coco Crush ring in the yellow gold, and this is in the smallest size. This is the stackable ones, um, and so this is, I'm gonna try to focus it here in the camera. Yes, there you go. So this is how it looks like. I really like this design. So I wanted to get a piece from this collection. And at first I wanted the earrings, but because it costs more. So I went to the ring and this is probably the um, least expensive item in that collection maybe. So I decided to have it. And also like, um, I like rings. When I was very young, I love ring. Uh, I love to have rings. So it was, you know, the jewelry that I was very interested in when I was very young. So that's why I have a few rings in my jewelry collection there. So there you have it. I was planning also to get the platinum or the white gold in this. So I was waiting for it to be delivered and see if I'm gonna like it. So there you have it. Then we go to the next one and this is the Cartier um, Solo Tank. And actually originally, I'm gonna show you something. This one, I got it in this stainless, with the, with this stainless, um, uh, what do you call this, strap. This actually came originally with this strap here. But I, oh, I was planning to get the one with the leather because this I feel like this is more casual and I can wear it like probably more than the stainless one here. So during that time that I went to Cartier, they didn't have um, anything available with a leather strap. So I went to buy this with this um, strap and then I bought the strap separately and tried to just change it um my husband actually did it because i don't i'm not comfortable doing it so this is actually the screw that came with this 
whenever he changed it to this strap, the leather strap here. So I have, I would say that I can actually change my strap whenever I want. Um, so if I want it to be more formal, then maybe I can put this on. But if I want it to be more casual, then I would just leave it with the leather strap in there. So a closer look with this watch. It has the signature blue um, dial here in this um, in the side here. If you can see, that's in blue. And also, there's also the blue um, there inside. So again, this is the Cartier Solo Tank with the stainless strap and with the leather strap. And this is the small size. So I like this, I wear this more among my watches. I wear this more because it looks very casual. And so there you have it. And it's in um, the silver. There was, there's a gold, um, you know, hardware here, but I like the look of the silver because it's very um, casual. So that is why I got it. And then we have another piece from Cartier. And this is the love bracelet in the small or thin size, if you can see there. And I think you've seen this already in my previous video as I have included this in the items that, you know, that um, I've been loving. So this, again, I'm going to try to focus it. This has already a lot of scratches there. So, and it has the screw, and this is in yellow gold. Yellow gold, small, love bracelet. And this is the plain one without diamonds. So let me try and take it out from this. So this is how it looks like. You can see the scratches there, but I'm not bothered by it anymore. And so this is the smallest, um, I think I got it in the size 15. So this is the love bracelet and the small yellow gold. And it comes in this box from Cartier. Then we go to the next one here on my left. And this is again from Tiffany. So if you can see, I have a more pieces from Tiffany. Um, because I really love, you know, how their jewelry, um, you know, looks and, um, it's actually also not as loud as some other jewelry. So this is the, um, I think this is, I have actually here the certificate so I can read the name of this. So this is a pair of Tiffany platinum and diamond stud earrings set with one round brilliant cut diamond weighing 0 0.50, 0 0.5 carat. So this is in total, this is actually one, car one carat. So this has 0.5 each. So a total of one carat. There you have it, it's focused. And it has this kind of lock here. So the other one is here. So there you have it. It's from Tiffany um, Stud Diamond Earring in Platinum. And then the next one is my Tiffany Engagement Ring. And this one, I really love this look here. So I'm gonna, I have um, the certificate here again. So I'm gonna read, this is the um, Tiffany Platinum and Diamond Tiffany Celeste double row ring prong set with one cushion modified brilliant cut diamond and this is 0.54 carat. So this one I'm going to show you a closer look. So this is how it looks like. I am just in love with this style. I was debating between this or the Tiffany setting, um, you know, the single diamond, one single diamond, um, their classic um, style. But I don't know, for some reason, I was drawn towards this 
this cut here. So closer look. There, so there it has diamonds in the side. I'm gonna try and have this focused. Give me one second. So it has the diamonds here up to here. It's not all over, but just enough to have it. So this one here is plain here in the back. And this one has the diamonds. And this one is how it looks like. There you go. So again, this is my Tiffany engagement ring celeste um there and in 0.54 carats and on to my last piece here is my watch and this is the rolex um i don't know what's the name date just yeah the date just rolex in the dual um color so we have gold and the um, metal so there you have it i don't use this a lot i only use this for special occasions because it looks very you know um dressy and um i don't usually wear it just with my ordinary or plain clothes so i usually wear this during special occasions but this is how it looks and yep so there, so this is again the date Rolex date chest and it has this, um, it's in this Jubilee um, bracelet because there's also the oyster one but I chose this because my wrist is so small that the, um, this um, oyster, no not, not the oyster, this Jubilee bracelet would fit me better than the oyster one. So there you have it. This is my jewelry collection at the moment. And I would say right now, I am I hope I'm at peace with my jewelry collection. Although I've been thinking about the Van Cleef and Arpels necklace um, in the Alhambra. But I don't think I'm going to add that anytime soon. Um, so again, there you have it, my small jewelry collection that I am so happy that I have them there. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye guys!